Hi, boys and girls. Yesterday, I read you the story, Bear About Town, and we read this book on Zoom. Remember this one? I like it here. It was about the teddy bear and the real bear, okay? Um, so I'm not gonna read those. Actually, let's go over this really, really quick. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna go, do you remember all the places that the bear went yesterday? He went about town, he left his house. He walked down the street. He went to town, see how he waved to everybody. Walking down the street. He goes to the bakery, that was on Monday. On Tuesday, he goes to the swimming pool. On Wednesday, the bear goes to the movie. Okay, it's raining now. On Thursday, the bear goes to the gym. And remember, the whole time he's walking, isn't he? He's not driving, he's not riding in the bus. On Friday, he goes to the toy store. On Saturday, he goes to the park. On Sunday, he goes to the playground. And then he stays there till dark. And then remember, then these were all the streets that the bear had to go on. Okay, it looks to me like he had to go up the hill, down the hill, across the street, around the park. I, mean, I was looking to see if there was a bridge. I don't see a bridge or anything anywhere. That's where the bear had to go. Okay, and now I'm gonna teach you a little song because one of the pages we have to do today, um, it said to uh, compare the character from that story, Bear About Town, to the one in the song. And to be honest, I did not know what song they were talking about. I thought there was a song in the book and there wasn't, but I found it. It's in the big teacher's book, okay? Some of you guys might know this song. So here you go. I'm gonna just show you the picture. Have you guys ever heard this song? The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. Now I need to put my glasses on because I don't know the other verses here. The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain is all that he could see. If he went over the, it said, what did he see on the other side of the mountain? He saw the other side of the mountain. Okay, the bear went around the building, the bear went around the building, the bear went around the building to see what he could see. The other side of the building, the other side of the building, the other side of the building was all that he could see. Now, where is he going to go? The bear went across the, the high street. The bear went across the high street. The bear went across the high street to see what he could see. The other side of the street, the other side of the street, the other side of the street was all that he could see. That's kind of silly, isn't it? Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is, I know that song, but I knew a different one. Okay, what we're gonna do is, here, first let's do these pages, and then we'll do the one about the bear, where we have to compare the bear to the song to the bear in the book. And like I said, I didn't even understand it, but we'll see, we'll do the best we can do. That's all we can do, right? Let's try our best. Okay, so the first page, remember doing this yesterday? Okay, sounding out the words and circling. We're doing the one that's on the other side of that. All right, now it says pronouns. You know what, parents, if you guys are watching, or kids, don't read these directions. I don't know, I uh, looked in the teacher's book even, and that didn't make very much sense to me, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna work on pronouns. And you guys should know these words. Pronouns are words that take the place of a noun. And we've talked about them a lot. What was this one? This is our sight word. He, H-E is he. So if we were writing a story about a boy, we would say, um, there was a boy who had a dog. And we might not wanna say, the boy took the dog for a walk. The boy uh, fed the dog. The boy gave the dog a bath. We might not always want to call him boy, boy, boy. We might want to use the word he. The boy had a dog. He gave the dog a bath. He fed the dog every day. So he takes the place of the word boy. Okay, that's why it's called a pronoun. Boy is a noun. He is a pronoun. Okay, this is she. Add an S to he and it's she. It's one of our sight words, right? She is a pronoun. It takes the place of a noun when we're talking about a girl or a lady or a woman. Mrs. Jenkins is a teacher. Now you might wanna say, 
she, now you might not want to say Mrs. Jenkins teaches on Zoom. Mrs. Jenkins teaches at Tuscany Hills. Mrs. Jenkins loves kids. Mrs. Jenkins has been teaching a long time. You might not always want to say my name. So you can say, Mrs. Jenkins teaches kindergarten. She loves kids. She teaches at Tuscany Hills Elementary. Okay. Now, I is also a pronoun. It takes the place of your name. So for me, if I'm talking about myself, I could say, Mrs. Jenkins loves to teach kindergarten. Or I can say, I, I love teaching kindergarten. And when you're talking about yourself, instead of saying your name over and over and over, you can just refer yourself to yourself as I. And then our new one is they. So if you're talking about your mom and dad, I love my mom and dad. My mom and dad love me. My mom and dad like to go out to dinner. My mom and dad tuck me in at night. Okay, and instead of saying my mom and dad all the time, you could say they. My mom and dad are uh, my parents. They love me very much, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these pronouns. Now, when you first see the little girl with the umbrella, and it says for you guys to use them in a sentence, that part I want you to do, okay? They just, in the um, teacher's manual, they had, to me, they had the wrong pronouns there. Okay, so this one here, when they had the word I, but we're just gonna say she, it's a girl, right? She. So we can say the girl is in the rain, okay? Maybe we knew her name, maybe her name is Mary. Mary is in the rain. Mary is carrying an umbrella. She is not getting wet. So she. Now, instead of writing boy there, okay, the boy is in the park or the boy is going for a walk. He doesn't have a jacket on, right? H-E. Okay, here's another girl. So when it's a girl, we're going to write she again. Sh-E. She is flying a kite. Now, um, they wanted you to do I, but because I is so easy, and this is our new sight word, I want you to do they. So on this one, there's a blank line. I want you to write they, and then draw a picture. So if you're talking about they is your mommy and daddy, or they are your friends, or they is your brother and sister, whoever you want, okay? And then you just do a little sentence. I'm gonna just pretend like I'm drawing a mommy and a daddy. Okay. And I will do, so I can say, this is my mom and dad. They live in Canyon Lake. They take good care of me. And I'll show you my little picture of my mommy and dad. Should they be holding hands? Let's make them holding hands, okay? They like each other. They like each other. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but hey, so this is what I want you to do. She, he, she, and they. I guess we could have changed one of those to I, but that's okay. All right, so that's that page, and we did the other page. Let's see, and now we're on this page. We're gonna practice our two sight words again, just like we did yesterday. Good, and they, and I wanna use that green highlighter again if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, we're gonna start with they. They come here. Those are all three sight words. Hmm, can you tell where they're going? That's a school, I can tell because there's a flag in front. They come here, they like it. They're on the playground. They can have this. Those are all sight words. And uh, they're at lunch. They've got trays at the cafeteria. It is good. Now we have our sight word good. Ooh, whatever they're eating looks yummy. Okay, now we have which I think is kind of a tricky page. It says to compare characters, okay? Have the children label the parts in the diagram with the words story, both, and song. Okay, well, this is the song right here. So I'm gonna go song. This is the story because you see the boy reading the story. And then this is both. So you guys can just copy mine, okay? So this part of the diagram is from the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain. This is the things that the bear did in the story. What did he do in both of the stories? Huh? What did he do in the song and the story? Did he go over the mountain in the story, in the book? No, he went around town, right? Hmm, the other little verse in this song was, uh, he went on the other side of the building. Did he go around buildings? In the story and the song? Yes, he did. Did he cross the streets? 
Yes, he did. Okay, so we could do either one of those. I'm just gonna draw some buildings. He had to, to go to the bakery, to go to the stores he went to. Remember the toy store? I'm gonna write toys here. I'm gonna write bakery here. He had to cross the streets and he had to go around the buildings, right? All right, and I'm just gonna write store here. And then I'll draw the bear. So in the song, the bear went across the street, he went over the mountain, he went around the buildings and in the story. And, but we're just gonna fill in the picture here. I know that was a little tricky, guys. I, I had to read the directions a whole bunch of times. I'm gonna draw the bear to figure out what they wanted us to do. Remember the bear was walking across the streets. All right, there's my bear. Remember he's got the little basket he's carrying so that he can put his bakery, his food and stuff in there. And here's my bear. Okay, so both of the stories, he had to go across the streets and he had to go around the buildings, didn't he? Okay, and then that's it. <coughs> Tomorrow we're gonna start our new letter. You guys, would you like to see what it is? You, I'm excited to do you. Okay, bye-bye.